His Excellency President Salfakir presided over the swearing-in ceremony of Honorable Buduk Ayanku as the governor of Upper Nile State, Alina Yeng Aliu as the governor of Gwarab State, and Honorable James Tor Mwinbun as the deputy governor of Upper Nile State. The swearing-in ceremony officiated by His Excellency President Safakir Mayardit was administered by Chief Justice Chandresh Madudi in President's office on Saturday. He's speaking after the oath-taking ceremony. His Excellency President Safakir said he was happy when he got the letter from Dr. Yak Machar that he changed General Johnson Ulunya as his nominee for the sake of peace and security for the people of Upper Nile State. Lomana Logetu al Khitab da Dr. Yak Benu. He has changed his nominee. Ujablay Honorable Labudak. I was going to the Council of Ministers. I did not wait again. I did not wait again. And at a while, it's a virtual garage. You know, we tie in with that. You know, but that when I'm a kid, I'm a kid. Well, I'm too young. You know, I'll get there in time. His Excellency President Safakir asked Honorable Buduk Ayang and James Tormund Boon to work together to reconcile and unite the people of Upper Nile State. Buduk, my Tormund Boon. Ma tumu shu achiante cha kilfi malakal. Tajita galu chokol bita zo alwahid. Uzema gavana rabadok gal gibele nu idkum damwahid ita matar. I believe inu atajita mizeda. His Excellency President Safakir Ash Halina Yeng to bring back law and order in Warab State. President Safakir said he is confident that Alina Yeng will do his work to end hostilities in Tonya and Warab State in general. Ita lomara jata ganun fi warab. Ita anama da na gule ginu ana bichi lak baad ma atara jal ganun fi warab. Lekin I want to tell you that denu ane istakal maak ane kun maak kawali fi fi mahalda. O ita arab al hajar al hasal fi warab. Yomata were no judge for disarmament. A judge day, our Masha suffered the casualties. Mad Wukatir. Come with a man in Askari. Masha Mad Fidwaj. First Vice President Dr. Yak Machar Teng said after a wider serious consultation, he decided to change General Johnson Uluin as the nominee and replaced him with Buduk Ayankur because they want peace and security in Upper Nile State. His Excellency Dr. Yak Machar said he is happy with the appointment of Buduk Ayankur as the governor of Upper Nile State, noting that he is confident that he will avail security and protection to their people. This is the tenth month since we have been <coughs> looking for governor for Upper Nile State. Our initial nominee, we made it on one critical base on the fact that we want peace, we want security in Upper Nile to prevail. That is why we insisted for the last 
10 months that he would be the nominee. But after the serious discussions among us, and with the nominee, the nominee declined two weeks ago. And therefore, we brought the other nominee, putting into consideration as number one, peace and security in Upper Nile, protection <coughs> and providing security to people of Upper Nile. I'm happy that on you immediately appointed him. The Presidential Advisor on Security Affairs to Galwak Manimi urged the newly appointed governors of Waraba and Upper Nile State to reconcile and unite their people at the grassroots. To Gadwa pledged to the newly appointed governors the support from the national government to ensure that security and stability avails in the states. <laughs> ما جودات في ملكان عارفين ملكان كيف إدار وكيف الناس إلف ومشاكل هتجيس في مؤتمر بتاعك على أن تسير الرئيس يكون مؤتمر ليوم واحد لشجاع من على النيل لحل القضايا في على النيل. The governor of Warab State, Honorable Alina Yang, said the insecurities in Warab State is not news to him, and he is confident that he will handle it as long as he has the support from His Excellency. President Safakir. Alina Yang stressed that the most important thing to note is the government we are in itself on how we are going to cooperate as a political parties and deliver the services to the people. Honorable Alina Yang said we must all understand we are going for a mission to bring peace and stability to our people. Forget about the, what is happening in the ground where we are going. But the most important is the, the kind of government we are in, in terms of the agreement and the cooperation and the government of unity we are fostering to bring peace to the people of Southern Sudan. Personally, I feel that the biggest challenge for me is how best I'm going to cooperate with all the peace, make, I mean, all the parties who are at peace to the agreement. That will be the first challenge that I, I'll have because unity among us together, and I'm happy that the first vice president is here, is also leader of one of the parties. And I hope the others who are not here, who are going to have their representatives in my state, will understand that we are going for a mission. Our duty is to bring peace to everybody. Uh, Insecurity, especially in Warab, uh, is not uh, new to me. And I, all that I will need is the support of everybody here. The governor of Apanali State, Honorable Buduk Ayankur, said the problem in Apanali State is big and they will begin their work immediately with healing and reconciliation of their communities. Buduk Ayankur said the task will begin in Juba because the problems in Apanali state start in the capital Juba. Muskel and Mojuta Alanil, Muskel Kabira, Lakin, Bertaker, Tawaniana Mazenili, Tormundu, Unana, Agiga Tenana Azdera, Anamar Belgararja, Yan Jakev Kadekuntu, Fi Kala Masal Keda, Keda, Yan Keda Jibtuna, Yan Keda, said the Rosir Mosut, Al Unode Mosut. Lano ano watur mungun na na ina sadaga benatna na amaleno nipsa sadaga benishilu nenzilu ala ard alwaga unistagal fi halna una na arifin ino shugul na luula ana na benishagal luula kung nimsa alinil iya amaliya betal healing and consolation da mahim jidan binis balena halna fi alinil lano asalan halna fi alinil huna ibara anusra waid. لكن الظروف الماء قد شتت هذه الولاية وهذه العسرة نحن 
في عالمين لو مسكنا مثلا شلوك ودينكا نينا عبارة عن دم واحد أبوبتي أبوبتي أمو جدي كور من دين جول بدايان دي يبقى أنا عندي دم في دينكا وطور منبوني ندو دم في شلوك وهذا الدم الموجود المتبادل بيناتنا نختم على أرض الواقع عشان كل المواطنين يجي راجين في عالي النيل عالي النيل ده ده بلد بشيل كل أي زول خليك القبائل الخمسة الموجود في عالي النيل لكن حتى لو زول نازل برا من عالي النيل حتى كان الجلابة كان قاعد في عالي النيل كان كانوا بدمتحوا بكل الأوريات نعمل إنه نرجع هذه العملية في مكانتها الأولى The deputy governor of Apanali State, James Stormont, will call upon the daughters and sons of Apanali State in South Sudan and outside the country to take it as their responsibility to bring peace and unity to their people at the grassroots. James Stormont said the people of Apanali State highly need peace and security. Our fellow leaders, especially the son and daughter of Apanali who are in Juba and across the world, will also understand that the mission that we have been signed is meant for all of us. President Safakir Mayar did on Friday night appointed the governor and the deputy governor of Apanali State, ending a deadlock over the nominee for Apanali State governorship. For SSBC, Ajumare, President's Office, Juba.